What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert and today we're going to be having a look at manipulating and editing automation within Studio One. Okay, so I've just got a blank audio track uh, up here and we're basically just going to be looking at the automation here. So to start off with, uh, let's go ahead and let's just draw a couple nodes. So we all know within Studio One that we now have these exponential curves here, which I can curve. So that's nothing new here. Uh, but what I want to have a look at is uh, editing and adjusting these nodes uh, or these automation points once we've done so. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at making adjustments to some of these points here. So we got one way that we can do it here is I can just grab this point over here and I can just uh, pull it up or down like this, but this can be a little bit hard. So one of the things that I like to do is a little shortcut we have is if we hold down the control key and I click this point, I can actually just enter uh, a manual value there. So I could just right off the bat say minus 10. Okay, so now that snapped this to minus 10. Then I could say at this point here, I want to bring this down 2 dB. So from minus 4.6, I could just say minus 6.6. .6. Okay, so that brought that down. And then I could move over to this point over here and I could just say that I want to bring this up 1 dB, so minus 11.3. All right, so now let's have a look at something else here. Now what happened if I wanted to move all of these up? So what I could do here is I could just swipe across everything here and I've selected all of these nodes here. And now uh, I could grab any one of these points here and I could make another adjustment to here. So this is currently set to minus 16. Let's hold down our control key. I'm on a Mac here. I'm gonna click this and let's say that I wanted to set this to minus 12. Okay, so now everything has gone up according to that adjustment that I made. Okay, so that's one way that we can edit these points. Now here's another option we have here. I can hold down the shift and option key with all these selected and I can use my down arrow and now I'm moving everything down in uh, minus or in 0.6 dB increments. So let's just put our cursor over here. You'll see that that says minus 19.5. So now I'm going to hold down my shift and option, that's alt on a PC, and I'm going to use the up arrow and you'll see that it's going to move up in a 0.6 dB increment. All right, now I have to re-click my cursor here before that updates. Now I can move this down again, and let's move this down one step here. So now this is going to go down 0.6 dB. So there it's down to minus 20.1. Okay, so now let's look at some other options here. I can scroll through any of these nodes just by using my left and right arrow keys and I can go ahead and delete some of these points here. So let me just go ahead and scroll through and let's go ahead and we're gonna use the shift key to make a selection across multiple points here. And then I can move this back, so going from left to right. Now I could take these points over here and I could use my shift and option, alt on a PC, and move all these up or down if I wanted to in 0.6 dB increments. Or I could just control click one of these points here uh, with all of these nodes selected. I'll just control click this one right over here. And I could change it to say minus 23. And that's moved that up. Now, another thing that I like to do here is uh, we have the transform tool. So if we need to just take a certain section, let's say from bar, I don't know, let's say from bar 89 to 97, if we wanted to take that section and move it up or down, so I could go into with my snapping mode on, I could go to 89 here and select everything from 89 to 97, and now I could move that up or down. So now that's moved the entire selection up or down. All right, so what happens if we've already cleared that selection and we wanted to make some adjustments? Let's say that we wanted to move uh, these points over here. So what I can do is I can just select this automation node over here and I can go down to this point over here, hold down my shift key, move over to the next one, and now I can use my shift option or alt on a PC up or down to move it up or down in minus six or in 0.6 dB increments from here. So that's what I'm currently doing right now. Or what I could do if I had a specific value that I wanted to set that at is I could just hold down the control key again, click this point here, and let's just say I want it to minus 24. And now I've moved both of those points together. Or again, I could just select everything here, all these nodes, and I could just choose a point at any given point in time here. So let's say this one over here, and let's just say that I wanted that at minus 12. Now I've moved everything up together. 
All right, so those are some of the basic ways that we can uh, move pre-existing automation points that we've already added that we can make adjustments to them. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.